silver back gorilla versus bengal tiger who would win this legendary battle stay with us till the end to find out the winner of this epic showdown before getting into the stats it is better to have an overview of both of them Gorillas are herbivores, predominantly ground-dwelling great apes that inhabit the tropical forest of equatorial Africa. The genus Gorilla is divided into two species, the Eastern Gorilla and the Western Gorilla, and either four or five subspecies. The DNA of Gorilla is highly similar to that of humans, from 95 to 99 percent depending on what is included, and they are the next closest living relatives to humans after chimpanzees and bonobos. They tend to live in troops, with the leader being called a silverback. Gorillas tend to live 35 to 40 years in the wild. For this comparison, we are taking the silverback gorilla, the leader of their troop. They are classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. There are many threats to their survival such as poaching, habitat destruction and disease. The Bengal tiger is a tiger from a specific population of the Pandora tigris tigris subspecies that is native to the Indian subcontinent. This tiger is estimated to be present in the Indian subcontinent since the late Pleistocene for about 12,000 to 16,500 years. The Bengal tiger ranks among the biggest wild cats alive today. It is considered to belong to the world's charismatic megafauna. The basic understanding is over. Now let's get into their stats. Silverback gorillas can stand 6 feet tall when they are on two legs and have an arm span of almost 8 feet and can weigh up to even 136 to 226 kilograms. Bengal tigers can reach 9 to 10 feet in length and stands 2.4 to 3.8 feet at the shoulders and weighs up to even 199 to 294 kilograms. Gorillas are found in Rwanda, Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Gorillas typically live in the lowland tropical rainforests of Central Africa. Although some subspecies are found in mountain rainforests and in bamboo forests. Bengal tigers are found in Bangladesh, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Western China and Western Myanmar. The Bengal tiger mainly inhabits the tropical forest of the Indian subcontinent. But in Bhutan, they have been recorded as high as 4,500 meters above sea level. As a top predator, tigers play an important role in maintaining a diverse and healthy forest ecosystem within their habitat landscapes. It is also the national animal of India and Bangladesh. Gorillas' main weapons are their enormous spike with a bite force of whopping 1,300 psi. It is stronger than a lion as well as a tiger. Their canines can grow up to even 2 inches. But their strongest weapon is their strong punch. Let's test their punch with an adult human. Gorillas have a really strong punch. Getting one punch from a gorilla is like getting two hammer hits. One hammer is enough to kill an adult human with ease. So we can just imagine what a gorilla punch is. Bengal tigers have 3.5 inches long canines and razor sharp retractile claws which grows up to 4 inches. They have a very strong bite. Their bite includes in the top 10 but it is less than a gorilla. Their bite force is 1050 psi. 
pretty great, right? They can bite through a human skull. Silverback Gorilla has a top speed of up to 40 km per hour and on the other hand, Bengal Tiger runs at a top speed of up to 65 km per hour. Another fact is that though the Gorilla is very similar to humans, but it is not similar in one thing, Stamina. Tigers have more stamina than Gorilla. We know that all the big cats have a very poor stamina, including the Tiger. But gorillas have more poor stamina than tigers. So we can just imagine how poor the stamina of gorilla is. The diet of silverback gorilla includes stems, bamboo shoots and fruits. However, they are also known to feed upon termites, ants and break open termite nests to eat the larvae. The gorilla's only natural predator is the leopard and even they very rarely actively hunt juvenile gorillas. Crocodiles and pythons share a habitat with them and can be deadly to gorillas. But these attacks only occur on rare occasions. The most dangerous animal for the gorilla is unfortunately the human. The prey list of the Bengal tiger includes large ungulates like cheetahs, sampa deer, and Indian gar. They also hunt medium-sized prey like wild bulls and occasionally sloth bears. They have only two competitors in their range. They are crocodiles and tall pack. Now it is time for the verdict of the battle. We have their stats on our hands. Let's discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of both of them. The main advantages of silverback gorillas are their strong bite, IQ level and their enormous punch. And their main disadvantages are that although the gorilla has a very strong bite and punch, it is very hard to ensure the head or neck of the tiger properly as the tiger is far more agile and nimble making these tasks almost impossible. Another major disadvantage of the gorilla is their nail. These nails are of zero use against the tiger. They don't have claws, only nails, as they are closely related to humans. Also, they have more poor stamina than tigers. They can become an extremely powerful beast, as one can even lift an object which is 5 to 7 times their own weight, but can't last long. They tire out very quickly. The main advantages of Bengal tigers are their sharp canines, razor sharp retractile claws, stamina, fighting experience, hunting experience, speed, agility, and size. And their main disadvantage against a gorilla is their intelligence. Gorillas can use tools, for example, if they got a wood piece, they will try to use and ensure their foe. Bengal tiger will easily kill a silverback gorilla 100% of the time if this battle happens in aquatic conditions or at night as the main weakness of the gorilla is water. Also, they have very poor vision at night just like humans, but the tiger has. Seeing these advantages and disadvantages, you should have imagined who would win in a fair fight on land in daylight in a fight between a silverback gorilla and a Bengal tiger, the tiger will surely win.